I first met uh, Tim as a, a student on uh, UCT's Intercalated um, Clinical Scientist program, which is, uh, I think, quite an inspiring initiative, which was started several years ago by Professor Ari Katz and uh, Bangani Mayosi, our late dean. And the intention there was to produce uh, what's called a clinician scientist, someone who has um, both the medical and the scientific training. I, for a long time, didn't think I was interested in medicine, and I certainly didn't think I was interested in biology. Um, and then when I was in grade nine or so, um, I actually had a bone tumor in, in my leg, um, which exposed me a bit more to the healthcare system. And for the first time, I thought to myself, well, actually, you know, maybe I could do this sort of medicine thing. It seems interesting. It's very rare for anyone in our field to obtain a PhD in four years, uh, let alone three. My dad was actually a science teacher, um, and I did physics, chemistry. I was also very interested, um, and still am, I suppose, in IT, and so I learned to code at high school. So I really work with um, the bacteria that causes tuberculosis. Um, and I'm interested in the sort of fundamental biology of this bacteria. So questions of how does it replicate its DNA, how does it divide to cause or to form two cells from one, and how does it elongate its cell wall and its structure. When you have an idea about how something works and you do an experiment and you see that result and you're maybe the first person in the world to have seen what impact this genetic modification, for example, has on some fundamental aspect of life. Um, and that I find sort of immensely thrilling and exciting. He's a fantastic experimenter and is willing to try anything. And I think it's that sort of can-do attitude which is very inspiring to those um, around him. The most important thing probably with a PhD actually is the relationships. You, your work can vary. It might go well, it might not. But if you have a good, supportive supervisor relationship, co-supervisor relationship, and institutional support, um, that can make your PhD journey all the more easier um, and uh, also valuable, I think. Uh, a colleague said, you know, actually, when we think about uh, Tim, we generally speak about him as a colleague, even though he is someone who's still due to graduate and will, and will, and will graduate now. UCT is in many ways an amazing place to be. My sort of advice to anyone that's starting at UCT or I suppose graduating from UCT is to really embrace the fact that you're at this sort of world leading institution on the African continent and to form networks with people and academics that really will maintain you probably throughout um, potentially the rest of your career or at the very least the start of what can be a very exciting one hopefully. After obtaining his uh, doctorate, which is um, what he's being awarded in this graduation, um, he then move, moves back into medicine and will complete his medical training, so effectively uh, emerging ultimately as a double doctor, a doctor of science and a doctor of, of medicine. If there's any inspiration that can be taken from my journey, it's hopefully that people can be made more aware of the intercalated program itself and, and that um, the efforts of uh, Ari Katz and Bogani Mayosi who forged this program and the opportunities that are available to young medical students. If people can be made more aware of that and utilize it, I think um, there's a really exciting uh, future for both them as individuals but also for South African clinician scientists um, and hopefully we'll develop an exciting workforce that can do impactful research for our population. There's absolutely no doubt uh, that uh, Tim DeVette is an inspirational graduate and I hope um, is someone who other medical students in particular will look to and recognize uh, the potential that this is achievable and it can be very exciting to augment medical training with the scientific training as well. It's also exciting to be able to use the title doctor despite not being a qualified medical one.